Hi everyone, it's Gina Kay from Gina Kay Designs and your host of Stamp TV. And today I'm going to show you a fun technique that uses an eyeshadow palette, some Versamark ink, and some large rubber background stamps to create beautiful panels for your card projects. I was cleaning out my cosmetic drawer trying to only keep the things that spark joy and I ran across this beautiful eyeshadow palette. Now these eyeshadows are not colors that I would normally wear and I'm not even sure why I bought it. But I couldn't part with the beautiful palette because I thought there might be a way to use it in my craft room. So today I'm going to show you how I use these eyeshadows to create some fun background panels. To begin, I'm going to take a sponge dauber and I'm going to use this hot pink eyeshadow color and I'm going to rub it onto this black cardstock. Now you'll notice that even though these eyeshadow colors are very vibrant, when you use them on black cardstock or dark cardstock, they will look a lot more muted. So I'm going to do five big kind of blobby circles and then I'm going to switch colors. I'm going to move into a purple color. Now when I use the purple it's not drastically different than the pink but it's a nice coordinating color. So I'm going to blend some of those together but I'm not real worried about them blending seamlessly because I have a plan for that coming up. So the next color that I'm going to use is a vibrant blue. I didn't have another sponge dauber available so I just rubbed off all of the loose color and then I started with the blue. Now I'm not sure what's in eyeshadow that makes it different than regular chalk but I'll tell you I found that this really sticks to the paper a lot better. So now I'm going to use a Swiffer and I'm going to rub off all of the excess eyeshadow and in doing this it's going to help blend the seams of these colors together a little bit more. And you can see I'm rubbing pretty hard over all of this but the eyeshadow is still staying on the cardstock. Now I'm going to use the Rose Lace Background Stamp and I'm going to ink it up with some Versamark ink. You want to make sure you get your stamp nice and inky and you don't miss any of the spots. So once I've inked this all up, I'm going to take that piece of paper, that cardstock that has all that eyeshadow on it, and I'm going to flip it over and lay it down on top of this background stamp. Then I'm going to take an extra piece of cardstock, lay it on top, and rub my hand all over it so every part of that cardstock makes contact with the stamp. And you can see the beautiful rose lace impression left behind. So here is a card that I made using the same kind of panel, and I used the new Love Is All You Need stamp set to create the greeting. For my second panel, I'm going to use some of this light aqua color and I'm going to do the same pattern. I'm going to do the four corners and then a big blob right in the center. Now you don't have to use this same pattern. You can do stripes, you can do all one color, you can do pretty much whatever you want. But I got hooked on this pattern and it seemed to be a good way to get color evenly dispersed across this piece of cardstock. So now I'm going to switch to a green and I'm using a different sponge dauber for this. And I love the way this green and that aqua look together on this black cardstock. And you can see, once again, I'm not worried about getting seamless blending because that Swiffer really does help with that. So the next color I'm going to use is some deep purple. And I'm going to just fill in those empty areas with that purple. And you can see there's a few spots on there that I missed, but I'm not going to worry about that too much because once I rub over the whole panel with the Swiffer um, duster, everything gets filled in nicely and everything blends together. So I'm just going to use a new spot on that same one and I'm really going to rub across the surface. This is also a really neat way to make a sky background. 
Now I'm using this Petite Flourish stamp set or stamp, rubber stamp. And I am inking it all up again with some Versamark ink. And again, you want to make sure that you get ink everywhere because you don't want any shallow spots on your image. Now I'm going to take the piece of cardstock that has the eyeshadow on it and flip it over and then grab a piece of other cardstock and rub my hand all over it. I like to use the corner of that cardstock to pick it up and you can see how pretty that design is. And I love those colors together. Here's a card I made using that and I used the greeting from the mini set called All About You and I used the Whimsical Wildflower stamp set for the flowers. Now for my final background I'm going to use some bright yellow and I love the way the yellow looks on the black. There was something about this color combination after I made the background that I just thought it it just felt like it reminded me of a of a wine bar or a coffee house, some warm toasty place, and I just love these colors together, so I ended up turning this into a coffee card. So here I tried a little bit of the light green, but I didn't see enough of a difference, so I switched to the darker green. And that's the cool thing about this, is if you're not crazy about the color, you can just go over it with another color. And then my final color is going to be some of the purple, but then I'm going to blend a little bit of pink on top of that. In my card project, I only used the pink, but this I used a combination of the purple and the pink because I wanted to see if I could get it to look just a little bit more plum. So by mixing the purple and the pink together, it felt like it had a little bit more of a plum feel. So now I'm going to finish this up and then I'm going to use a Swiffer and blend all of that together. Here I'm using the Elegant Script background stamp and I'm using Versamark ink again. And now I'm going to flip it onto the background stamp and use my cardstock to rub. And here is the beautiful Elegant Script background. I really like this one. And here's the card that I made and you can see in the card the uh, plum parts are just a little bit more pink but both of them look really nice for a coffee card. And I used the Perfect Blend stamp set for the greeting and the coffee cup. Repurposing this eyeshadow felt really good and it was really fun to create card projects in the process. And now this eyeshadow certainly sparks joy. I hope you've enjoyed today's Stamp TV video and I hope you'll give these techniques a try. And stay tuned to Stamp TV for more card projects don't forget to subscribe and thanks so much for watching.